It's January seventh, and today we're reading the Snow Maiden. The midwinter frost was as keen as a honed sickle. The old folk were saying they couldn't remember a January like it, that it was only as cold as that once in two hundred years. The children were wearing warm woolen mittens and scarves, and were busy building snowmen. In front of the cottage where the old couple lived, there were seven snowmen with black coals for eyes, and leaky pans on top of their round heads. Grandad was remembering his boyhood. Grandma, what if we were to build a snowman too? Don't be silly, Grandad," laughed Grandma. "You better go and chop some firewood to warm the parlor." But Grandad was not to be put off, and he gave Grandma no peace until she agreed. "All right, Grandad," she said in the end, "if it will make you happy. But I'll tell you what." We won't make an ordinary snowman, since we are all on our own here. We'll make ourselves a snow child. And so it was. They rolled a big ball of snow and carved a little body, arms, legs, and a head out of it. When they had given the little snow girl eyes and a nose. A chill wind swept past the cottage, and a faint whine was heard. Was it the wind? The frost stroked the snow child, and it blushed, blinked, and began to cry. Oh my! Let's see what hope, what happens with the snow maiden tomorrow. Hope to see you then. Good night.